Thank you. Sure. I wish I could say it was a pleasure. RJ, what are you doing here? I was just leaving. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Maybe you should tell me. Where did you get all the garbage that you used to hang on to B? And I don't have to tell me. I already know. Lindsay. What difference does it make who I got no. it from? how I felt about the way you handled it, and you know how I feel about Lindsay. And that's exactly why I didn't tell you. <laughs> well, she obviously did this to get back at me. Are you crazy? Are you? We're talking about Lindsay Rappaport. What about her? And they lived happily ever Bowl, right? Yeah. See, I used to believe all that stuff when mom and dad used to read these stories to me. And then when mom and dad got married for the last time, when they brought you home, I thought that we were going to get our own fractured fairy tale ending. Look. Sam, I know it's kind of my fault that you're going to grow up without your dad, but I think it's the best thing for you. I mean, he's going to make you love him, but then he's just going to break your heart. And I mean, he's always going around doing anything that he wants to do. You know, hurting anybody, but yet I still have to be perfect little star. And once he finds out that I have a bun in the oven... I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, you almost killed three people on the boardwalk. Cole Star and me, if I'd lost my little girl. You threw her down those stairs. She was lying there, not moving. But what'd you do? You didn't go to her to help her, though. No, you turned on Cole. You wanted him dead. If I wanted Cole dead, he'd be dead. All in the name of love, right, Todd? I didn't want to hurt Star and Blair, my God. I was trying to prevent her from getting hurt. Okay. Now that you know how it all ended, what would you do differently? Would you do anything? Yeah, I'd do things differently. Really? You'd still lock her up here, threaten her, keep her away from Cole? Because you are Todd. And you fell in love with Todd, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, how many times have you said that? There's no forgetting what you did this time, Todd. Doesn't matter, though. Then you'll wake up, you'll miss me. You want me to come home? This is not your home. Not anymore. Charlie, I, I, I promise you I will take full responsibility for everything because you never would have lied if it wasn't for me and if and if, if vicky can forgive natalie then she's gonna have to forgive you eventually right hey natalie is her daughter and believe me we have an amazing capacity for forgiveness when it comes to our children we hold others to higher standards i made my choice and that's that and i chose Pretending to be a Buchanan over accepting who I was. And you're a better man because of it. Let's just hope the Buchanans can see that. It's not the Buchanans I'm worried about right now. It's you. Oh, no. Look, I am not going to hit the bottle over this. Okay? Really? I would never do that to you. Not again. Hey, I'm very proud of you what you're doing here, son. It's not like I have much choice. Thank you for coming to me first. <laughs> Natalie and I agreed that I owed you that much. Look, I think it's great that you and Natalie are working things out because of all the things I ever wanted once I got sober, your happiness was at the top of the list. 
O'Malley forgave me. And, uh, she's her mother's daughter. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on here. If Vicky finds out the truth about Jared, then she'll know that he's been sticking it to the Buchanans, and she ain't gonna like him much, is she? Then she'll find out that you've been doing the nasty with him, and she ain't gonna like you too much either. Okay, we wouldn't have to be doing any of this. If you weren't blackmailing us. Yeah, you definitely don't want to see that disappointed look on Vicky's face when she knows you've been lying to her. Believe me, I've seen it one time too many. However, there is an alternative here, Natalie. Maybe Jared can't get his hands on that kind of money. But you're a real Buchanan. You can get in there and do it. You don't have to tell Vicky. I don't have to tell Vicky. All you have to do is write a check and let me go now. What are you two doing here? We came by to talk about how to publicize the uh, exhibition at Lindsay's Gallery. Oh, yeah, guys, that's I forgot. Did we come at a bad time? Because we can leave so you can talk about me. No, you stay. I think you'd be interested to hear this, Bo. Nora, okay? Why? please don't do this. You don't think he deserves to know? Deserves to know about what? Felt the same way about the way you handled the threats at BE as I did. It was shady. It was seedy. And it worked. It worked, and that's all anybody cares about now. Yeah, but what does it have to do with Lindsay? Where do you think Clint got the ammo that he used on B.E.'s enemies? Hand them over. Like there's three of us, there's two of you. Why don't you guys just think about it? Three nine millimeters in your holsters. Two in your face. shoot you. <laughs> Antonio, my gun's not working. What are you doing? Go after them. Stay here with them. Uh, this is an altitude. Oh. How could you possibly let this happen and just stand there? What happened? I, I don't know. You're my wife. They're my kids. You can't kick me out of my own home. I'm not going to be your wife for long, and your kids don't want anything to do with you. And I do believe this is Dorian's house. And guess what? You're not welcome. So leave. <laughs> you need me to protect you. The only person we need protection from is you. What about Ramsey? He used us to get to you. You are his problem. That's because you were stupid enough to hook up with him, cross him, and now he hates you. So with you out of the picture, Todd, so you know what? All of our problems suddenly just disappear. So why don't you just take all that money that you're using to hire bodyguards and PIs and treat your daughter like a prisoner? No, more, more like a piece of property. And buy your own little piece of property and live in it. You're my wife. In name only. I let you move into this house to save your child, so I thought. I'm ordering you to move out to save mine. So I give you a check, and then I let you go. Then what, David? You're just going to forget about your blackmailing demands and leave us alone? What? I mean, come on, how stupid do you think I am? Stupid enough to make out with a guy who says he's your uncle in a diner where I was washing dishes. Yes, well, you know what? Jared is fixing that right now. He's going to make sure that you have no more power over us. So you're going to stay right here. Until he's done it. It's ridiculous. You can't just keep me here. You know what? Put a sock in it. No, Back, not... Better yet, I'll... <sighs> Have it go. Charlie's going to tell your mom. Great. And what do you need me for? Easy, cowboy. We need you right where you are. Well, not right here, exactly. My dad was just here a few minutes ago. I thought I talked to him out of his morning ride. Mm, no, but I finally did, and it took some doing. The Sable Boy's gonna be here in a little while. It's just too dangerous to keep him here. Okay, well, what do we take? It. I've got an idea. Now, I've got an idea. Right. If you're gonna coop me up with another filly, could you at least make her human and moderately attractive? Okay. <laughs> I've got one nerve left, and uh, he's really working it. Okay, well, this is all going to be over soon. Once Charlie tells you, Mom, I'll talk to your dad, and... Well, David can't get any Buchanan money out of me. 